All right, everyone, welcome to this New Moon Weekend Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for April 13th through the 15th of 2018. All right, so this weekend, a lot going on astrologically. Uh, the most important thing being a new moon at the end of the week, which does suggest another new beginning in Pisces. So if you're expecting me to say Aries, do check out the link down below for more information. But this is the second new moon we do have in Pisces now. So new beginnings still developing as it has been about essentially finding peace in life, spiritual peace through surrendering what is outside of our control and living as presently as we can. So another step in the right direction with this, it is going to be conjunct up to Uranus, which might induce some freedom perhaps from all of this and a greater connection to our true selves perhaps. Uh, Mercury is going station direct in Pisces on Sunday as well. So there could be some things starting to move forward in regards to what we've been learning about, perhaps developing our intuition, going with the flow and some of this receptive stuff. And we also do have Jupiter sex dialing up to Pluto on Saturday. So our belief systems, I think, are changing. I think there's more open mindedness collectively and a bit of this empowerment to pursue our inspirations. All right, so let's look at that along with some of the other aspects here in more detail when we return. All right, so here is the chart for the new moon, which will be at uh, 2303 Eastern time. So for those of us in the Americas, we'll be late Sunday. Um, if you're in Europe or the East, uh, you will find that uh, it will be early Monday for you. Okay, so uh, new beginnings, yes, in Pisces, another step in the right direction. Uh, we've already been developing a lot of this very dreamy and etheric energy for over a month now. But now with this new moon at the end of Pisces and conjunct up to Uranus, definitely in a higher octave, let's say. I think with all this understanding that we've developed and had, this is now more of, I think, an integrating type of new moon of taking all of the insights we've learned in our own experiences about, again, finding that peace and having more presence uh, and starting to move it forward and probably in a bit of a freeing sort of way with this conjunction up to Uranus. So Uranus has been transiting Pisces since 2008, all right, so the past 10 years. If you can think back to around that time period in your personal life, has there been anything that uh, you've been wanting to find more freedom with? And now with this new moon, likely another step in the right direction with this. Down below in the comment section and in the description, I'm going to put uh, where this new moon is for each of the sidereal signs. So if you know your sidereal sign, uh, do check down below to see what house this is pertaining to for more personal reading in this regard. But collectively, since 2008, it has been this freedom of letting go of what's outside of our control, right? This spiritual freedom that Uranus has been showing us in Pisces. And what you could also say is finding our true self through surrender, through our beingness, right? Because our true self can't be a concept or something we understand fully, right? It only limits our true self concepts and, you know, these types of things. But when we're accessing our beingness, we connect to that freedom. So there could definitely be a new step in the right direction with this, a little bit more freedom of being our true selves in the context <clears throat> of connecting to our beingness and letting go of what's outside of our control. Right. So I think a very freeing new moon, we do have to give it some time, right? It will be slowly building as we go into next week. But this whole lunar month likely themes pertaining to this. And again, themes pertaining to more development with this receptivity and connection to what is with Pisces. All right. So this new moon is also going to be squaring up to Pluto, not majorly. <clears throat> it's a minor square here with this, but, uh, um, good to take note of. I think what's happening with this new moon and probably this weekend <clears throat> is this sort of transformation of our belief systems, right? Pluto's been transiting Sagittarius for pretty much that same amount of time. So what this is going to help us do now is that if there's anything you can challenge yourself with 
in terms of seeing things in a new light, in a new perspective, and maybe even let go of some old limiting belief systems, some old unhealthy belief systems, right? This can be very freeing as well. So it does require the intention to do that with the square to Pluto. And it may also require facing some fears to do that as well. And with this new moon, if there is anything that you do feel like, again, as we go into next week, that you wanna take action with, and by taking action with is facing fears, and it'll sort of transform you and empower you by taking that action, I think there is you know, that type of energy involved. And I think it's a good way of working with it with the square. All right, so those are the uh, two major aspects, new moon conjunct Uranus and this slight square to Pluto, transforming our belief systems, empowering ourselves through action of facing fears, and this new beginning with our sense of self, our true self arising from our beingness, and again, the spiritual freedom of letting go of what's outside of our control, living presently, seeing the perfection of life. The perfection of life is, is what is now, all right? is what is in the present moment. So let's talk about this uh, Mercury retrograde. Mercury's been retrograde for the past three weeks. This is again in the same area, if you wanna check down below to see what area has been this reconsideration and whatnot. Um, but yeah, if there's been collectively things you've been learning through your dreams, through intuition, again, all this kind of spiritual energy of where we can find more peace in life. This is now starting to move forward as we go into next week as well. So this weekend, it's like this energy is dying down with this ending phase, Mercury slowing down, all right? And so we'll likely notice this bit of shift uh, Sunday moving forward. So think back to the past few weeks. What have you learned generally? And um, great, great week next week and moving forward to start to implement this kind of stuff, especially if it's in the context of, again, bringing in more acceptance into our life. All right, so that's the uh, Pisces energy. Let me go ahead and show you all the aspects, um, how they look this weekend. Uh, here's the new moon at 23.03 uh, Eastern time at the very end of the weekend. And uh, we do have Mercury going station direct on Sunday there. That's sort of slowing down and shift of direction with Pisces. All right, so we do have a very important aspect this weekend as well. Um, Jupiter is sextiling up to Pluto. And this has been going on since mid-January of this year. So this also, like that Pluto we were talking about before, is about changing our belief systems. But this one in a bit more of an inspiring kind of way. So maybe thinking back, what have you felt a little inspired towards or about since the beginning of the year that now might come in this weekend that you can take another step in the right direction with? or continue to transform your belief system, to really expand your horizons, to see what's possible, right? To manifest through open-mindedness. Because only what we see as possible, only what we allow as what's possible can come in and can transform us, right? So it's this sort of opening collectively for this and can be very empowering with the sextile up to Pluto really just seeing things in a new light and a bit more of an open light, right? So if there has been anything in particular since mid-January, this could be a step in the right direction with this. Jupiter is, of course, still retrograde, so allow yourself the time to rethink and reconsider some of these opportunities or possibilities, but still probably it making a little bit more sense or we're starting to see the fruition of it with this aspect this weekend. All right, so along with this, Mars is sextiling Neptune. So as a backdrop to all of this, I think we're probably starting to see this weekend that yes, we are in a bit of, in alignment with going with the flow, with this sort of Pisces influence, right? Neptune uh, modernly rules Pisces. So I think it's a great weekend for accessing a bit of that receptive nature. We can be taking action in receptive ways, right? And just finding that flow and that current of life and putting energy into where the flow is already taking place. I think that can be easy and be very supportive for us to work with this weekend. All right, so that is the uh, weekend in a nutshell. Hope you all have a fantastic new moon. Thank you again for all of your likes, comments, and shares with these videos. And um, yep, I'll see you all Monday for the daily forecast. Take care.